Hi there, so in this quick tutorial I just wanted to run through how we cut down and edit audio on a second layer. So there's a couple of different methods we can do this. We have a an audio track, as we can see here, um, that's attached um, to a, our main storyline um, in Final Cut Pro 10. And what we want to do is we want to chop out an area of the audio here. Now there's a couple of different ways of doing this. The tool that I'd use to make a selection from this then to delete is called the Range Selection tool. So if we jump to our tools in the middle of our interface here in Final Cut Pro 10 where we can see the default selection tool, the arrow tool, then we can come to the range selection tool, okay, and we can grab that range of audio using the range selection and then press backspace to delete that. Now, the one issue with that is that this audio, a little ahead of time, then doesn't jump back. We have to then go back to the arrow tool and then move it until it snaps into position, okay, which works perfectly well, but if you've got a lot of audio um, on one area of your timeline to edit, then you, you might want the audio to snap back straight away. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So we just take a couple of steps back. So edit, undo, or command and Z, which is what I'm doing here, to the point where we've got the audio track intact again. So I'm going to select this audio track, and then I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to do something called create storyline, okay, or command G. Now you've only got one clip here, um, and you can use this on multiple clips to kind of create them into a storyline, but here we're going to start with one clip and then we're going to be make, making multiple clips out of that. So we'll do Command and G or Create Storyline, okay? And you can see once we've done that, we get this little black box around our clip, okay? Now we're going to jump to the Range Selection tool, okay? And we're going to just drag out across that same selection, okay? And once we've done that, we can press Backspace and you can see that audio snaps back into position. So it, the clap closes and it does a ripple um, to, to ripple back to the out point of the previous audio clip. So this is really useful if you're cutting down longer sections of audio and you don't want to keep dragging and dropping uh, clips or connected clips on your timeline. I hope that's been useful. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.